Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After in Summer, and I am here today to stain my porch. So when I moved in, the porch was actually the only thing, maybe not the only thing, but it was definitely the biggest thing that was 100% not stained, untreated. That's just how it works because the boards need time to sit before they're stained, ready to accept that stain. So today I'm going to be using my Wagner sprayer and staining everything. And by today, I mean last week, you can see it's already done. All of this gray wood I stained with my sprayer. I'm going to show you how I did that by myself in a couple days. My mom is a beast with the tape and drape. <laughs> So she did help me block off all the black railings, but spring was on me. So we're gonna get started. All right, y'all. So first things first, you're gonna start with a clean, dry deck. So if you have, you might need to pressure wash it. You wanna make sure all that stain is off. And if you put some water on your deck and it soaks in, you're good to go. It can accept stain. Once your boards are ready, mine are new. They just needed a sweep maybe a good blast with the hose you could start with your tape and drape as i like to call it so this is just a painter's plastic that has the tape built in it makes it real easy to just go around tape the whole top of your porch and then pull down the plastic you're still going to have to tape those bottom parts but it's so much easier than having to manually add the tape all the way around at least I think it is, you know, do what you want, but I like it. It is a little more expensive, but it's not so much expensive that it's not worth the time saver. All right. Once you've got it in place, get your friendly feline helper. Lily was a great help with the tape and uh, start taping that bottom down. In my case, you can see I have a white molding kind of around the bottom. I kind of put the tape under that and then taped it up onto the plastic thing was sealed down nice and tight. I could spray all the way up to that plastic edging and I would get all the boards. So that is perfect. I went all the way around and it was a little long. The way that I taped it, I wanted to go under the black railing on the left and tape it up on the back side of the railing which meant on the house siding sections, cut that and then taped the bottom. And then I used that cut portion of the plastic to secure the bottom of the columns, which means that you're going to be staked them off. Just be able, but in my case, I needed to tape off not only the house siding, but also the railings before I started staining. Okay, so now we're gonna actually start staining. So I've got my sprayer, my little Wagner, and I put on the Fine Finish nozzle. It has two nozzles, Fine Finish, which is the smaller one, and the larger container. Now the larger container can do an eight by 10 area in a couple of minutes. As you can see, the Fine Finish one, it goes pretty quick as well, but is not necessarily intended for this kind of base. I'm using it because I have a knee injury and I just can't hold that large. And as you can see, they both work. So in this case, you're gonna hold your sprayer about six to 10 inches above your porch and you're going to stain in continuous motions. Perfect. All the way along the wood grain. So you're gonna as much as possible. Oh, out of stain. All right, so I went and refilled my stain and now I'm gonna keep going. So since your deck is going to be pretty clean, it takes the stain really well. You can see where it's staining. You can see exactly how it's working. It's actually a very easy process, just easier without any injury. <laughs> You're gonna stain your entire deck all the way across and then look at your can and it's going to tell you what the dry time is to talk, to walk, to walk on it and what your dry time is to recoat it. So mine was 30 minutes to touch and two hours to recoat. So now I'm recoating it two hours later 
and I am using the large container here so you can see it is just a bit bigger it's going to take our paint just that much further I am having to hold on to the railing more because it's just it's a little heavier for me with my injury but it's not undoable so this is about where I ran out of paint paint where I ran out of stain the first time so much further with the larger canister so in this case I am actually using super deck which is a solid based water stain um, water-based stain from Sean Williams I'm using it in my Wagner sprayer and it recommends two coats and since I'm spraying it instead of brushing it it's just it goes on so much faster and then thin coats which is perfect for the stain that's what you really want if you brush it on it goes on a lot heavier um, this is Kings Canyon which is a stock color I chose that because it has an IR reflective technology. What that means is that if you put it on properly, two light coats, it actually helps bounce the sun back up and it keeps your deck cooler, which is perfect because I like to walk on it barefoot. <laughs> that would be a hard thing to achieve with a brush since you just naturally put stain on heavier with a brush. My sprayer keeps it nice and thin and perfect. So once it's done, once you've coated everything twice, you're going to give it at least two or three days. It will tell you on your can the recoat time. My, I'm sorry, y'all. Not your recoat time, your cure time. Recoat time means how long until you can paint again. Cure time is how long until you can put stuff on it. So this is three days later after it's cured. And my brother and my mom's the fun for all my resin and my gardening supplies. So everyone will have this, but if you need some storage outside, these are great. My mom actually got them for me for Christmas a couple years ago, and I love them. So I'm just going to go ahead and place. We love how the stain turned out. I am using this little doormat to help protect it from scratching. It is cured, but it can still scratch with something sharp and heavy. Now, it's not going to scratch under, like, a chair leg, but lockers, yes. All right, I'm going to start on the table and chairs and things like that. This is what I use to do my resin on this channel. So this is where I work, y'all. I'm doing all my projects. This is where I'm sitting. You know... I just, I'm so excited to put everything back and see how it comes together. All my pretty ferns and my planters. Oh, I've put all these planters in the last couple weeks. It's exciting to actually on the porch. And it has a marble top. Her granite's heavy. That's why, that's why my brother's carrying it for me. Thanks, Will. All right, y'all, I am going to go and I will be back in just a minute to show you the finished porch. Hope you enjoyed the entire experience. And I hope this shows you that if I can stain my entire deck almost by myself and you can too, just grab a helper for the, for the tape. That was the worst part. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this entire process. I'm going to put a few pretty after shots and I will even walk you around the porch. You guys, I am absolutely obsessed with how it turned out. I wasn't sure about the gray. I was trying to decide between gray and a stained dark walnut, but I love how the gray turned out, especially with all the copper. It looks so pretty. And even though it was a long process, three days between draping everything, staining everything, and putting everything back. 
three days for a big dramatic makeover like this is really not bad. And I'm just pretty proud we did it ourselves. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you. Lily and I will see you next time. Bye. Lily. All right, so as you can see, we have our double planter on the landing, along with my copper hose bucket. We come up to the porch, got my sprayer out here. Another one of these bad boys. I think we're going to put them on the spot over by the grill. Loved them so much on the front. I'm gonna put them everywhere. I love the door and these pretty mats that we picked up. The colors go perfectly with my table. And in case anyone's wondering why I have a table and stools on my front deck, technically I suppose you could eat out here, but this is my resin workspace. There's a bumblebee. <laughs> then of course my pretty little wagon. I got that at the Pike Road Market a few years ago. This is my little eating spot. And around the corner, got the grill spot where I'm gonna put those other two deck posts. A few flowers and my lockers. Again, maybe not traditional for your porch. They are great for all weather. And they hold my resin supplies like a boss. Plus I'm kind of obsessed with the color so hope you guys liked my little porch makeover I can't wait to show you the rest of the house and the garden as we go along bye y'all